So, I'm pretty late with this episode. And that's because, uh, well, douchebags. <laughs> Season 8, Episode 4, Bitten. I'm going to start this right off the bat here and say that, wow, this episode sucked. My apologies to the last episode, Heartache. Yeah, so much better than this one. This one easily takes the cake for worst episode so far. And I'm betting that it'll come out for being the worst episode of the whole season. From the stupid, tired, overdone, cliched, boring, annoying, frustrating, lame, absolutely uninspired, found fucking footage premise, to the just unlikable characters, this episode delivers shit. I am convinced that the director of this one, Thomas J. Wright, saw that Paranormal Activity 4 was coming out around the same time as this episode was airing and said, Hey, why don't I do the same shit here? But here's the thing. The found footage fucking genre fucking sucks! It was new, cool, and original back in 99 with Blair Witch. Anything after that is just old shit. Hell, you could argue that it was no longer original after Cannibal Holocaust in 1980. So my point is, why did this episode have to be found footage? And there have been other episodes where they use this gimmick, or something similar, like the Ghost Facers. But with those episodes, they're humorous, they're fun, and the characters are generally likable. With this one, the writing isn't good, there's no humor, and the characters are, like I mentioned in the intro, douchebags. They're douchey college frat guys. And they try to play them off as hip, liberal movie buffs, but they're not. They were written by a hack writer who doesn't know how to create characters who are relatable to the audience. I don't really even want to get into the specifics of this episode, but I guess I'll have to, just so that everybody understands exactly why this episode sucks so much. There's really no Sam and Dean, so no purgatory stories or flashbacks or anything like that. They're in the beginning, they find the college kids' footage, they watch it, and then we're watching it with them, I guess. But they don't show up again to give commentary until the end. And that really pulls this episode down. I would have liked to have seen Sam and Dean make comments about what they're seeing. That could have been fun and humorous. But instead, we get this long, dragging 35 minutes or so of these characters that nobody would ever like or relate to. The best thing we get is, at the end, when the girl is the only one left and she asks in the footage, which, yeah, she edits all the footage that the three of them shot for Sam and Dean to watch. And that doesn't make any sense, and it's stupid, and why would she even do that? And it also brings into mind, why the hell were all of them filming every little thing that happened to them in the past month, or however long it was? And that's just another problem with this stupid found footage gimmick, and... Ah. But yeah, the girl asks for the brothers not to hunt her because, although she's a werewolf now, yeah, it's about werewolves, whatever, who gives a shit. But she's never hurt any human, so she asks to be left alone. And Dean's pretty much like, yeah, that's cool. We give people a chance. We're not ruthless. Which is nice because back in season 7, we saw this really out of character Dean who wouldn't show mercy to monsters. And we as the audience were just meant to assume that all monsters are always evil all the time. Which isn't the case and shouldn't be the case, especially with these monsters who were once human. So I'm glad to see Dean back to being more understanding of people. Even if it does present problems with him killing Amy and the girl next door. But who cares, that was filler Dean. Dean from the crappy seasons. This is Dean back on track, so I gladly accept. But in the end, what do I rate this episode? Oh boy, this puppy gets a nice, shitty 2 out of 10. I have high hopes for the next episode, though. It's right on Halloween, Ben Edlund's writing, so should be good. Or at least much better than this piece of shit. But that's it for now, so see you on Thursday, ass butts.